Okay, so for our first stand, we are going to use a half inch floor flange and we're putting it on top of a five by five um, block. Um, since this block is so small, you really don't need to measure the middle. Um, you just kind of, well, you want it in the center, but you can kind of eyeball it because it's going to be like an inch around here. And then you're going to hold this down, drill your pilot hole. Pilot holes are basically just to get your screws started into your foundation. They don't really need to be all the way into your block. You don't want to run the risk of them um, of the hole going all the way through the wood block. So you just want to pick a pilot um, a pilot size or a drill bit size that is smaller than the screw you're actually using. So this screw is um, three quarter inch. And we are just going to drill this in. And then you're going to do that all the way around. And then we're going to take our half inch, half inch wide, but um, 12 inches long pipe, threaded pipe. Screw that into our flange, and then once you screw it down to your desired tightness, then this pole is basically ready for a balloon. For our next stand, we are going to be using. Um, we're still going to be using this, using wood, but we are. Using these frames, we're gonna cut off, cut off these, cut that off, and probably need tweezers to get that out, but for right now it's good. Um, we're gonna be using this hexagon wood frame, and I just use different shapes so you guys can see, can see the difference. So you don't have to use these same shapes, you can use basically any kind of wood uh, blocks and frames that you find at um, your craft store. And then we're using this um, PEX one and a half and three quarters um, adapter. Um, I'm going to use the larger side sticking up and then we're going to have the concrete compound. This is like the seal cracks you find it at any hardware store. Um, seal cracks. And we're going to use that. Now, I'm going to be using gloves because this stuff is kind of nasty. We're going to remove that first. We're just going to layer the compound in here. And once this dries, once this dries, it's going to be heavy. So the other. Um, the other base we were using, we were, the weight of the flange was going to be the thing that made that base heavy. But in this case, since this is a hollow, um, a hollow frame, we are using cement to make the base heavy. And just want to smooth this out. Um, Evenly, I don't have a spatula. I would recommend using a spatula. Um, just want to smooth this out as evenly as possible. I'm probably using like a third of this quarter size bucket. Um, I just want to make sure there's no pockets once this dries. Um, kind of has a smell to it. <laughs> Hmm, I can't, I can't smell, but that's how it feels. Okay, so this is all evenly, evenly spread out. So 
now that this is evenly spread out, we are just going to nestle this in the middle. And make sure that's standing up very evenly. Just kind of pat that around and we will let that dry. For our next project, our next stand, I mean, we are going to cut off, same thing, this is a, a picture frame or a shadow box frame from Michaels. We're going to cut off the stems. We are going, now this one I for sure want to find the middle because um, I'm going to have to put the center down first. So I'm just going corner to corner. To find where these two points meet so it doesn't do perfect just use a ruler make sure it's straight okay so now we have an X we can basically we know that on that little point is where we are going to <coughs> place our resin or no, where we're going to place our center. So this is a PVC three quarter inch um, cap. And we're going to place that as our center with a little bit of hot glue on the top right here. So we're just going to put glue over the label, basically. And just press down firmly. And then let it dry it's our resin so this is just um, a to b uh, epoxy resin so a to b just means it's a one-to-one -one ratio which means one's one part a one part b settled um, since I'm not actually making anything that I want to sell or display I'm not too worried about the bubbles I just need this to harden so that way it keeps this centered and then once it does harden um, it'll give it weight so we're pouring the resin around our center we're not pouring it into the center okay and then just like with the cement, we'll let it cure overnight. Okay. Right up to the rim. Okay. So this will let it cure overnight along with the um, cement. And then we can add the rest of our pipes and poles and then um, add balloons. Uh, we have we have one completed. Then our 
hex tube, right? This was the one that was the picture frame. I still haven't taken this off, um, so I'll do that before I finish. But this is the one that we filled with concrete. So it looks like that when it's dried. Not really caring about how smooth it is because we will be covering that up um, with balloons. But um, this is a PEX tube. So this is a this is a PEX tube that I cut down to a decent size, and that just fits right in. You could hot glue, put hot glue, and then do it, but it fits snug enough where it's not going to move. And then we're using this cutter, and this is the cutter that I had in my in the video where I did. This is the same cutter that I had in the video where I did the. Um, baby crate so um, I'll try and find the link to that not only the video but also to this um, so you guys can purchase it of course actually came with a shaver so you can shave the end like that and it'll kind of shave down the ends um, I think I picked the wrong side there's there's one side that kind of makes it domed and then there's another side that makes it like what's, that word? what's the word what's the word conclave conclave it's a good word that's a good word um so I think if you use the dome one, I don't know which side is the dome one, but I just figure it out. It's 50-50 chance. And then this is going to go into our resin. So I just shaved it down so it's a little easier um, to go in. And just like with all PVC, they have PVC glue that you can um, glue it in. Um, so it's secure. It all depends on how you want to. I wouldn't do that since this is resin. You can't really take it out of there. So I wouldn't glue it down unless you know that you're going to store it in this state. So now that we have these, now that we have this done, we are going to add balloons. But before we add balloons, um, I highly recommend getting a color getting a color similar similar to the colors that you're going to use and either like an extra balloon color whatever just something that if it shows it's not going to be a big deal and you cover your cover it like that so then that way um, the roughness of the edge of your pipe pole um, post whatever you're using um, doesn't doesn't pop your balloons that you're blowing up. So
could also suggest um, painting this because PVC and the other pipes um, sometimes will have like this for sure paint it with spray paint. Um, the PEX tubes come in white, blue, and red. So if those are the colors that you need, um, you really just have to wipe it down um, because PEX tubes are mainly plain. But the PVC has writing on it, like the measurement writing on it. So I would suggest either covering that with um, with paint or spray paint or regular paint, letting it dry before you attach it to the base. Or you can um, wrap it with different color ribbon, um, give it like a spiral wrap all the way down with glue. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. And then also I would suggest if you are going to make this centerpiece to have your have your pole longer than um than a foot these are all uh, cut down to one foot um just for the sake of demonstration purposes but i would highly suggest at least doing a foot and a half um 15 inches foot and a half to um to get the proper look that you want. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make these DIY balloon bases. And if you wanna learn more, then click on your screen right now for the next video.